update another fervor another fervor uh, the, the the author of the book fire and fury Michael Wolf came out and basically said that all of the people who work with Barack, uh, excuse me that work with Donald Trump think he's an idiot you know why because he actually is an idiot the very same things that that book is saying and that people are saying now they said at the beginning that he was not fit for president that he wasn't bright that he was a, he was a dumb man that he was a fraud Virtually everything that that book says, we knew before. You did not have to read Michael Wolff's Fire and Fury to know that D Donald B Trump is a moron who's unfit to be the president of the United States of America. Read his Twitter feed. <laughs> I cannot take seriously a man who I could beat in a spelling bee. But it, it says less about him and more about us. How is it, How are we comfortable... What, what is supposedly uh, the, the greatest country in the world being uh, being um, um, run by an infant. A dude, that, by all accounts, this dude sits in bed and eats cheeseburgers and watches the news. That's not a president. That's my father-in-law. This It's insane. It, it, it's reasonable to question a man's uh, intelligence and to question a man's mental stability when he does the things he does. What about the rambling uh, interview he did with the New York Times just two weeks ago? What about the tweet he sent out that almost sent us to the brink of nuclear war to Kim Jong-un? Tell me I got a button on my desk. First off, it isn't a real button. You do understand that. that, that it ain't like the easy button they used to have on that staple service commercial. That's not real. Like a, a button, that, button that says acne. <laughs> it's not unreasonable for a 72-year-old man who's out of shape, who eats that badly, who doesn't exercise, to start slipping mentally. Look at all the time. Look at look at look at him almost passing out. Look at how he get up, get up in the middle of the day and spell confiti. He has given you every sign, every indication. You know what? Not only should Donald Trump not be president, he, I wouldn't even feel safe with him being a greeter at Walmart. Stop it. If Donald Trump was my father, I wouldn't be comfortable leaving the house and having the pilot light still be on. That book didn't tell you anything you didn't want to know. It, 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 you didn't already know. It says more about the Americans who voted for him than it does about him. How great are we? We are. How great are we when this is the leadership, this is the path we chose? When we're seriously arguing whether the leader of the free world has the mental capacity. And, and the thing that kills me is when somebody says you're idiotic and you're childish and you're petulant, you can't answer that charge by being idiotic, childish, and petulant. You can't say, don't call me a child, I'm taking my ball and going home. <laughs> Stop with this notion. We have, we have a petulant, idiotic, unqualified, mental midget as president. But that says less about him and more about us for, because we allow it. We allow it. We're a nation of people. Who who, who 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 have got this is like the contractor that you you know that you hire because he submits the lowest bid. We are we are playing to the lowest common denominator, and every time you turn around, he's talking about the stock market. But all most of the people who voted for him don't have stocks at all. Stop telling me that you didn't know that he was a dummy. He is, but it says more about us than it does about him, and you wondering why America's falling off. This is crazy. Nero, he played the violin while his empire burned. This idiot tweets. That's a little note from the GED section. We got the Jazz Report coming up in 15 minutes. It's a DL Hugo Show.